the most fire <laughs> brunch ever. The most fire. Literally fire as in we're melting. It's so hot. <laughs> the sun. I can see from this lighting. The sun is trying to kill us over here. The sun. And it's how about fire. I had the camera with me the whole time and it was sitting right next to me. I literally thought we're getting our coat. Well, she's getting her coat on to leave and I was like. I don't think I, think I, I want what we talked about on camera. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. At all. Absolutely not. It's like the voiceover with the music. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. All B roll. The food was okay. We don't need that on camera the food either. The food was very mid. Very mid. If you ever consider going to another broken egg cafe. Okay, don't order the <laughs> Do not order these potatoes. <laughs> They're going to bring you tater tots. Can y'all believe? Y'all see it here first. The most important crazy though. Just get drinks. Yes. We had a wonderful waitress. She was fantastic. Fire. Yes. Not my favorite. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it. at least the water's good. I've had she better. didn't even like the water. I've had better water, but y'all, I'm fighting for this lighting right now. I truly apologize. I when he brought me over here, honestly, this whole place is packed, and I was like, where is their seating? And then he brought me here, and I was like, oh, that's why no one, no one wants to sit here. I was like, um, I'm gonna vlog. <laughs> Hopefully Deja makes a oh Jesus makes another reappearance on the vlog because she's oh, amazing. Yes. Literally, she sat down and talked to the the waitress, and the waitress was like, "Your energy," and I was like, "So you caught what I caught?" <laughs> we'll have to do another story later on about how she came in my life and then disappeared for six months. <laughs> Look, the first words I bring to her: "Can you hold my baby for a second? <laughs> this is actual literal fact. I don't even think we had had a conversation. No. First birds breathe. That's it. And I gladly did. You look her... trustworthy. Can you, <laughs> Can you hold my newborn real yep. quick? Yep. I'm gonna go to my car. It was great. But anywho, okay, we're gonna get out of here because we're melting. <laughs> so I just want y'all to say hi today. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. Hi friends, I'm back. I'm in a dressing room. A H <laughs> Deja and I stopped by to look for outfits for the Christmas production at church or Christmas services at church and we are struggling so hard. This is the closest I got to a full outfit but I'm just not, it's giving business, it's giving I'm about to lead a meeting. So Deja went to go find me another undershirt to hopefully make this a little less businessy. I had some sequin, hold on, I might be able to find them. So we considered this as an undertop. We thought it was black, but it's more of like a sapphire gray. Um, I originally tried these pants. They're like shimmery. There you go, you can see. And I was doing it under this top that I have underneath, but these don't fit. Um, yeah, the sizing is just off for these, because these are 14 and they don't fit, but the ones I have on are 12 and they fit. So I don't know what that's about, but. And then these I liked but they were just doing a lot and it wasn't a cohesive outfit. So I don't know you guys. I sent Deja into the wild to find me <laughs> to find me another undershirt. But I'm just I, I can't lie, I'm not like excited about it. Last year I got this like green velvet suit from Express that was super cute and fire. And so part of me does want to like go by Express. It's just they cost big dollars that I don't feel like spending. Like why do I wanna spend I think that suit last year, it was on sale, so it it worked out. I think it was like 100 or 125 for this suit, but I think it was on sale for the holidays. Um, so I don't mind spending something similar, but I just, I don't know. I mean, kind of like these aren't super cheap, I will say. <laughs> the jacket I think is 65. It's a very nice quality jacket. I would wear it for sure for other things. And then the pants are not as good quality. They're a little more flimsy, um, but I think they're like, I don't know, I don't remember, 30 or something. So, I mean, it's still kind of the same price. So maybe we'll have to go buy Express. I don't know, or maybe I'll go tomorrow because this was all very spur of the moment. <laughs> we were already in Easton eating, as y'all saw. So we just kind of decided to come into the mall and see if we can find something. So, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see how successful she is finding me an undershirt. If not, I think I'll do one more look around the store and then, um, yeah, just call it a day. Okay, so here's the option with the black. Oh, what'd you find? What's this? Oh, that's like the color of the other one. Okay. Ooh. I, 
you're right. Back. Bring us back here because we did like yeah, it. We didn't give the satin blazer its due diligence. Yeah. They didn't have a large, but maybe just see. Okay, what just see what it's going. working with. Okay, I'm gonna change it actually. Hi. I mean, if the plan is to wear it open, that's kind of. Yeah. I wonder if we should just try the Polaris H and M if you definitely want that and just get the large. It looks amazing. You look so good. I'm still. It's still giving gray. Should we come in the regular light? Right. I mean, it's giving classy for sure. Like oops. the gray is underwhelming. And even if we got a black one, that would be underwhelming too. Unless it's sequin. Yeah. Do you want to I mean, try I that? I'm not even gonna tell you all what time it is right now. It is super late. You're probably wondering why I'm still fully dressed. This is actually hilarious because my husband and my friends are always getting on me for this, that I will literally sit down and get tunnel vision and be in full attire at like midnight. Like, sis, what are you doing? Get in some pajamas. Like, why is my watch still on? It keeps prompting me to stand and I'm like, I should be in the bed. Stop prompting me to stand up. Like what? I should be in the bed right now. But I'm like just up thinking super hard. And I feel like it's a creative thing. Like I feel like creatives understand that like we start getting ideas and brainstorming and all that <laughs> from like midnight on. And so I was just sitting up thinking about like just my goals and things I wanna do right now. Um, and realized like I didn't even finish this vlog. <laughs> I don't even know where I left y'all, but I did not finish this vlog. So I was like, let me just talk to them about what's going on in my head. <laughs> um, and fill them in the day. What happened after I left y'all? Um, I had to get home because Babe and I had to run an errand. Um, I did not end up finding the outfit for, do I have glitter on my lip? <laughs> I didn't end up finding an outfit yet for our Christmas services, so I'm gonna go and look tomorrow. I think at Express. Um, if I don't find anything there, then I'll probably just go to H&M. I'm gonna go to the Polaris Mall because um, we were in Easton today and I just felt like they weren't, they didn't have enough of what I needed. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to Polaris tomorrow and figure out an outfit somehow, um, but Oh, speaking of, this will be up before then, I think. So if you guys have opinions <laughs> about what I should wear for Christmas service, let me know. Um, but yeah, I thought I would go back out tonight, but it just didn't end up happening with all the um, errands and stuff that we ran. When I came home, I ended up editing the vlog that went up today. That's how we got here to, I'm, not even, I'm really not gonna tell you what time, cause it is that late and <laughs> I should be asleep. But the good news is that I am officially on holiday break. I got done everything that I needed to get done. I didn't get done everything that I wanted to get done before break, but literally my boss met with me today. Um, <clears throat> we had a call and she was just like, just giving me props for all of the things I've accomplished this year with our team and like just how proud she is. And I was like, oh, I did do that. Like I did that and I'm going to let that be enough. I think that's enough for 2023. Anything else that's lingering is waiting for me and ready when I get back. And I'm actually kind of excited, which is such a difference between how I felt last year. I remember last year after um, the days that I took off for the holidays, I had a lot of anxiety coming back to work. A lot of anxiety. I remember my parents were over and I just ended up bawling my eyes out. And I was just like, I just, yeah. For all the reasons I've been telling you guys, I was just overthinking that new role and whether or not I was ready and could do it. And so I had so much anxiety going back to work. This time, it is night and day. I'm like, I'm ready for January. Bring on January. Like, I don't wanna rush it. I'm looking forward to this break. I just feel really excited for all the things that are ahead next year. And if the Lord did all this in a year, I can't imagine what next year's gonna look like. So, very excited, but very happy to be on my break. I'm like,
here in the traditional sense. Like I wanna value and like demand time and space for my own personal goals. And like I have to do that. Like it's on me to do that. Nobody else is gonna do it for me. And so I really wanna use this time off that I have to like jumpstart myself and just jumpstart my plan for that and like start thinking about what next year is gonna look like and I've had a few years where I have goals around this time for my own business and getting my social media pages where I want them and like just building that platform and um I don't know I just I get discouraged I overthink life is happening and so I just don't put in the work like I know I can, the kind of work that I put in at work. <laughs> I wanna put in that kind of work for myself. Like I deserve me to show up like I do at work for me. That's a word for somebody. That is a word for somebody. Show up for yourself the way you show up for all these other things that demand your time and that we've placed value on as if it's more important than you and your own goals and the purpose that God has for your life. Not that my work and my job isn't part of my purpose because I know it is. The Lord is doing dynamic things through that but I also think he wants to do something through me in a new way. So I'm trying to set myself up. I know like I need updated pictures because I'm <laughs> part of this transition phase and like just getting coming to terms with like me currently. I don't take pictures anymore. Like I used to be selfie queen. I just I don't do it anymore. I don't take pictures of myself. Like I used to even kind of get nice pictures of myself with my this camera at home and I just don't do that anymore. So I'm thinking the quality of pictures I want is like to actually have a couple shoots done or like make it a regular thing like every couple months <clears throat> to have a shoot like a lifestyle shoot with um, a photographer so I'm going to jump start that I think and start planning for that and just writing down ideas and like a schedule of like when I want to post things especially because there's so many platforms these days and I don't want to just make meaningless content. I think that's where I always get stuck is like, I'm just me, you know, and I share honestly about the things that happen in my life when I feel like the Lord wants to use as a testimony um, out of my experience. And I get stuck feeling like I got to keep up with the trends, you know, like there's so many types of videos and everybody's like, you got to have a niche and you got to have... A thing and you gotta um, you know do these sort of videos and even the beauty fashion side of things like I mean I care about my appearance <laughs> most times but like am I about to go drop bank on you know a whole bunch of clothes so I can do hauls and that kind of thing and catch the attention of those kind of businesses am I gonna try to pretend and act like I really care about like Ulta and Sephora makeup and like all of that kind of thing like no it's not really my thing like I still wear drugstore makeup like I get my makeup from Target I mean no shade because they do have good stuff there but like I don't be at Sephora and Ulta and all that so I'm not gonna put on just to get that audience and it's like I don't want to go digging for just an audience just you know meeting trends and getting numbers for the sake of that. Like this is ministry for me. Like it's it's so much deeper than just, you know, fitting into what looks cool and what works these days. And so I'm really trying to be intentional about that. And, you know, sometimes it's harder to plan around that because, you know, the content is a lot more organic. It's not like, you know, I could just go and find somebody's list of video ideas and just do that. Um, so I don't know, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to just be in prayer over this next few weeks and like really in my word and just listening for what the Holy Spirit is leading me to do. But I have to admit, like I'm super excited. I haven't had my website all year. I think I let it go at the end of last year. Y'all know we have officially moved past Miss GCH. I don't know if I'm completely sold about the Hello Gaby handle that I have. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not like 100% sold, so I may be sitting with that. Like, what is my true handle? I just had to get rid of the Miss GCH. Like, this was a couple months ago, and I just, I could not go another day with Miss GCH. So that's how we ended up on Hello Gaby, if you're curious. But I'm probably going to end up finding a new handle, like rebranding in a way that really feels authentic to me. And I really want to do that for this next two weeks. Um, 
And so I'm thinking about getting my website back. Uh, I'm trying to be intentional about it because I don't want to just give myself something else to do that will take a whole bunch of time with like, you know, what benefit. I do like the idea of having a website to like house all of me in one place. But um, the whole idea of like blogging, like I love blogging, but that's a job, you know, blogging on top of shorts and reels and TikToks on top of YouTube might be a tall order, <laughs> might be a tall order for starting out. So I don't know. I'm just going to be thinking about it, praying about it. And you all let me know, like, you know, what adds the most value to you um, out of my content or which platform you all really um, enjoy gaming with the most. Maybe that'll help me to direct my attention and priorities as I get started back. Um, I also want to say really quick before I go, um, I have noticed the comments uh, and requests for home content about like the whole home buying process and being a homeowner and kind of my more deep into my regrets and lessons learned and all that kind of thing so I do see you all I am going to include that I think somehow in the 12 days of Christmas videos um yeah I probably will include it in there and then I saw I think I mentioned this already but I saw somebody's comment about wanting to know more about just like marriage and lessons learned in that realm and like kind of more about what we did so i'm going to try to find a way to include that as well um so keep dropping your ideas like it is helpful to know what you all actually want to see and what to hear about um so yeah i am going to tackle those i'm not ignoring you if you'd be like dang this is the third video she ain't said nothing about none of this <laughs> i see you and i'm going to incorporate it somehow um but yeah, so just wanted to finish off this video because I know for a fact, like I already have an idea about how tomorrow's video is going to go down because we start marriage counseling tomorrow. So I'm hopeful. I really need to clean the house and just cleanse our space and set myself up really well for this wonderful break. And our godson is coming on Sunday evening. So I just want to be ready um, and have everything prepared for that. So tomorrow will be fun but uh hope you enjoyed today it was kind of a random vlog i have no idea what this is gonna end up looking like and i find it crazy that this is how i'm ending the vlog at like the wee hours of the morning but spread the moment had an idea and wanted to share with y'all and finish off the vlog so thank you for watching to the faithful few who are <laughs> caring about 12 days of christmas all five of us watching these videos <laughs> Thank you. Love you guys. Appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Great night.